Trenches Relax. Welcome to the Trenches Podcast. But for me, again, before, I was just like, I feel like I don't have enough money. You know, I'm like, yeah. I don't have enough. And so what are your thoughts on that? Because I I, I guarantee you, without people saying it, that's peop- a lot of people's number one thing is like, I just don't like... But, but besides, I don't even know where to start. It's just like, bro, I don't have, I don't know if I have enough money, but looking at my shit, yeah. I don't feel like I do. Yeah. So you never will. And, you never feel like it, though. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, I think going back to the beginning of like uh, lack of information, you know, I get people all the time that, you know, all these, th- now they're starting to bring back the, um, they're starting to give money back again to first time home buyers. Yeah, I saw which, that. Dude. I saw, um, yeah. Shout out my boy Biden. Shout out my boy yeah. Biden. Out here. <laughs> Sleepy Joe in the house. Sleepy Joe he is coming just through. Handing out, <laughs> handing out all sorts of checks. He don't oh, care. Man. Yeah. So Sleepy so, Joe's got like that. He's got that <laughs> that uh, dollar bill gun, like in the rap videos. He's yeah. just shooting out <laughs> checks, just left and right. Uh, yeah, I got mixed emotions about it. I think it's you know obviously I think it's good. Um, they they about really the started money back thing. Yeah, they started doing, there was a, a program that they started after the uh, 08 crash, and mm-hmm. um, that's, you know, they started doing like rent to own, and they and they started doing this $7,500 um, first time home buyer uh, down payment assistance, and it was basically to like stimulate the market again, because the, the mm-hmm. market was just shit for four or five years, short sales, oh, like foreclosures, pe- like people everything. weren't doing anything? Like, yeah, so they were so they were starting to they were trying what they could, and so they were giving out seventy five hundred dollars to first time home buyers to try to stimulate the market to get people out there buying again. And mm-hmm. um, this market is the exact opposite of that. There's there's not enough houses out there. I mean, the inventory is at a historic low. It's like at a historic ten year low. Um, it's not so for him to give for him to incentivize more buyers to come to an already stressed market i don't think is the best thing for the market but i mean it's not gonna it's not gonna crash or anything but it's just gonna stress it even more than it already is like there's certain places in like california that they would have to not sell a house for an entire year just to be at like where they were a year prior like not one house what damn bro yeah like yeah, and obviously that's not going to happen. So it's just like there, there's places that are two to three years away from being, you know, a regular market again. So it's it's just not so. Um, that's interesting, yeah. man. That's um that's kind of how it is here. I'm talking to a lot of people. And we're having the conversation where I'm like, yo, I'm looking at this, you know, four to, I mean, two to four units or whatever. And they're like, they're like, that's the only thing that's really available. Like they're they're yeah. building so much new shit out here, and it's just like. Before new construction's the, before, crazy expensive now too. Yeah, yeah, and you know they're just like, dude, even the new shit that they're building, wherever you mm-hmm. go in Vegas, is like it's already booked. Like, you basically have to get on like that waiting list to where if people don't, not the Vegas. waiting list, but if, if something backs out, then it's just like, okay, well you're you're number five, and hopefully, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I, that's really interesting, man. Like how well, but, that's what that's what's happening is just like the the regular market's so crazy, so a lot of people are jumping to because right now, I mean. Most single family houses across the country too, like it's not just in random places. I mean, it's almost everywhere in the country. Uh, you're looking at a house that hits the market and is getting 10 to 15 offers and is getting 90 showing requests on day one. Um, and so people and, and so people are losing out over and over and over again, you know, placing 10 offers on 10 different houses and losing out and losing out. So they're getting frustrated. So then they're going the new construction route because they're like, fuck waiting in line and fuck losing out for the next 30 houses. I'll just go build my own house and there will be no line. And these builders aren't dumb and these builders know what's going on. So these builders are jacking up their prices. Plus the cost of construction has gone up too. So like you can't get, you know, two by fours anywhere and you can't get like, you know, sort of, so I know a couple of people that are doing new construction and from the time that they were going to do it like three months ago to now, the price mm-hmm. has gone up like $45,000 on the, on the base oh. price of their house. These, these builders are just jacking up the prices. So, um, yeah, man, it's crazy. So the multifamily market is like you said, it is one of like, it's still crazy. 
Mm -hmm. um, because most people don't have that mindset. I think, again, it goes back to a a lack of information, I guess, where most people think that like FHA, you can only get a single family house. I got to go buy a house and, and, and I have to live there and, you know, that's it. And they're not aware of these different loan products or what you can do with these loan products. And so the multifamily market's been a little bit of a... I mean, it's definitely been competitive for me, but it's been a little safe haven as well because mm. it, it, it's kind, you kind of see the more savvy people um, when you're bidding as opposed to just the, the regular people. So it's been a little less crowded. 